And shout out again to all those people who hate my guts, but is sitting in a quiet place listening to my show. You are obsessed and sick, okay? Okay, I'll be right back. and Let's get into something else. Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Ebony. All right, you guys, we have several topics to discuss in this video. The first topic being none other than the beautiful Beyonce getting dragged for her performance in Dubai. Like, come on, when are people gonna stop this selective outrage? So what do I mean? Well, Beyonce did perform in Dubai. Now, she was paid $25 million and she did a rendition of several of her songs. However, However, there are some people in the LGBTQ community who feel that Beyonce shouldn't have performed in Dubai due to their belief and disdain for people who identify as LGBTQ. So people have been coming at Beyonce, dragging her, several people saying this, no beef, but I'm struggling to understand why Beyonce, who has a half a billion dollars, would accept $20 million to make her debut performance of the Renaissance album a record which lifts heavily from queer culture in Dubai, a country where LGBT rights aren't recognized. Beyonce performs in Dubai, homophobic dictatorship, ditching her own progressive values. She put a money-grabbing paycheck before human rights and sang no songs from the Renaissance album to appease anti-LGBT regime that has a D penalty for gay people. Now look, you guys, T.S. Madison also kind of stood up for Beyonce in regards to this backlash. And it's just so interesting how their selective outrage, and I think T.S. Madison did do a good job responding. She said this, so y'all gonna be mad at Beyonce when she perform on her tour in those U.S. states that have anti-LGBTQ laws in place? Or are you still gonna get tickets? The selective outrage is working my cozy nerve. I love how she put cozy. So look, you guys, at the end of the day, we all know that there is a regime in Dubai that is heavily, heavily focused on preventing LGBTQ people from living in their truth. And it has gotten so bad that these people are suffering from the possibility of losing their lives. While I do understand how people feel that Beyonce shouldn't be performing there, this was a private event. On top of that, the renaissance album in my opinion is almost like a love letter to her lgbtq fans and to be honest you guys i understand every artist who goes over to dubai or any country where there are a limitation on people's basic rights people get upset now you guys know i did a little bit of research on which company beyonce decided to go with when going to dubai now she was working with a company that goes by i am entertainment this is actually a live event agency agency founded and ran by Middle Eastern women with who Beyonce is collaborating with. This was a private event. The only reason people saw this entire event is because people did not follow the rules and they were recording Beyonce. On top of that, it was for a hotel. It had nothing to do with the country's government. And that's just my opinion on that. And I'm sure you guys will let me know what you think about it down below. But I do think that the outrage is selective. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next topic which is none other than Krishan Rock coming for Bobby Lights and also telling Bobby stop doing things for clout when we're friends in real life. For those of you guys who don't know Bobby Lights a couple of days ago did voice his opinion on Krishan's pregnancy and he pretty much told her this is not the time to have a baby. However Krishan is at a point right now where she's had so many of the A words that she feels if she doesn't have the baby she may not be able to. Now this is what Bobby Lights had to say and this is Krishan's response. Since everybody want to be fake and not keep it real on Beyonce's internet, I'll go ahead and say it. Krishan, my sweet baby, you are not ready for a baby. One day, yes, I say this with so much love. Just take this time to grow and evolve. You can do it. I believe in you. You could have hit me personally. People be doing call. It's like one of your friends just going somewhere left. Like, oh, I think, oh, who can you think you weird ass nigga mind your business just felt like my opinion was needed it came from it came with a lot of love and i still stand on it and i feel like you going live whenever it was that you went live earlier or whatever and um for you to like just drag me the way you dragged me on live for what 
it wasn't that serious. And um, I don't want to take it that. I don't want to take it there because I like you as a person. I told you this in person. I like you as a person. There's a lot of things I like about you. I think you're talented. I think you're smart a lot of the times, but I feel that. Well, I'm not your therapist. This is not my business. All right. So I said what I had to say. Hopefully, um, you see this message the same way I was rudely sent. Like, the, I, w- I never even knew you went live um, until everybody was sending me the video of you dragging me. You start off, first of all, this game. Yeah, I am gay. So don't say it or don't use that as a read because it's not a read to me, my love. Okay? Like, yeah, I am gay and you're barbaric. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no need to like do the name calling thing when all I said was, my love. I think Bobby Lights was coming from a place of love, but I think it looked very opportunistic for him to just make the blogs. Who knows? Maybe he did try to reach out to her privately and she wasn't answering. So maybe he felt he had to do this to get her attention. On top of that, I think it's so easy for us to point the finger at other people, tell people that they're not ready for things. I mean, Bobby Lights has been on the internet lately alarming a lot of his fans and friends about his own behavior. So it's kind of like, how are you giving advice when the advice is needed for you as well so i get what krishan is saying i also understand bobby's point as well and i do think it's unfortunate that krishan um is in a place right now where not only is she battling her mental health but also battling the fact that she could be bringing a life into this world and her situation is more than chaotic so i'm gonna keep praying for her but you guys will let me know what you think about it down below do you think bobby lights was cloud chasing or do you think he really meant it with love all right you guys let's go ahead and go on to the next topic which is none other than the beautiful chloe bailey announcing her debut album and in return normani getting dragged and also people making fun of the fact that normani well her album is still not here so as you guys see on the screen chloe bailey did announce her album coming in march now the interesting part about her cover art is she has the heart okay in one aspect and then she also has it looks like a world globe almost reminds me of a libra right and and it's an interesting concept. I don't know if I like the cover art so far, um, but we're going to see what happens, right? We're going to see what Chloe is going to bring. I love the melody in the promo work, right? It looks absolutely awesome. And so let's see what Chloe's going to bring. It's coming in March. Now, while everyone is celebrating Chloe Bailey, people on Stan Twitter are also dragging Normani and saying that how did Chloe Bailey beat Normani to releasing a debut album? Ciao. People saying this. Chloe gets promotion for her team. She dropped more singles last year, so she should be further along. Nobody has a clue about what's going on with Normani. It seems like her label shelved the project and don't consistently promote her, and she's not active on social media. I personally think she needs new management, at least sing at events when she's covering other songs, like Parkwood has done for Chloe and Holly. Normani, get off the floor. Another person says this. Chloe stands leaving Normani stands in the debut album Waiting Room. So as you see you guys people are coming down hard normani and i don't think it's fair i think that every artist has their own timing and i think that normani is in a space right now where she is trying to find her timing but i do think she is coming to compare her album release with chloe bailey's album release doesn't even make sense because chloe bailey has a different team than normani chloe bailey's team is a lot more um focused driven and a lot more consistent whereas you have normani who she's beautiful she does a good job but her team is not always as consistent so we're on two different playing fields so I don't think it's fair to make fun of Normani I think Normani is definitely coming and I can't wait for her to come because I really do believe that when Normani steps out Normani's gonna be stepping on a lot of necks just my opinion let me know what you guys think about these topics down below don't forget to subscribe to the channel give this video a big thumbs up I love you guys so much and we will talk very very soon bye guys Thank you.